Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode 31 of the Hardcore Iron Man series and please enjoy today's episode. So every 10th task, I will be getting the task from Dordo so that I can get a higher point prestige because you get bonus points every 10 tasks. So Dordo gives a lot more than Neve. So anyways, here we go. Nice! Greater Demon task, perfect. Here we go guys, about to wrap up third jab task and where the orange 360 spawns is where jab spawns. This is only for old school runescape. There we go. Oh, nice. That is awesome, man. Just got 83 slayer right after slaying jab, man. That is so sick. All right. And I didn't get to show this, but I'll show you now. 83 slayer means I can now camp spiritual mages for some giant boots i'm gonna be getting that uh, right after exchanging this fire cape so here we go guys let's get the pet here we go uh you're not lucky okay next time <gasps> yo yes oh ho, ho. yes all right took me 77 kills as you can see on the timer right there for the dragon boots ah that feels nice. So the next item on that Slayer list, of course, is the whip. Two more levels to go. Nice, man. Just hit 71 attack. So I just got 75 defense recently, and I decided, okay, let's go ahead and get 75 attack now. I'm probably going to switch it back to um, 80 defense after 75 attack, though. Just because I want to make sure I have the 75 attack before 85 so that I can use the arc light and speed of the whip grind. So yeah, let's just get those 4 attack levels real quick. So guys, you see all these steel bars? Well, I have 902 of them, all from gargoyles. And I gotta make use of these. And I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a cannon, alright? And I'm gonna go ahead and smith some cannonballs. Smith whatever steel bars I got into cannonballs. So that should be around 4k. And there we go, got it. I still got 4 mil. But yeah, with 4,000 cannonballs, I should be able to make the task go by a bit. I know cannonball making is like the least efficient thing to do, but there are times when I kind of want to just take a break, you know, from playing this account. So cannonball making will be pretty chill. So smithing 900 steel bars actually didn't take that long, so I ended up with 3k cannonballs. Will probably only last me like 4 cannon tasks, but it's okay, that's gonna be nice XP when I get to use it. And finally, my Guthans plate bodies have all gone down to really low, 25%, it's probably less than that. Um, so I'm actually gonna repair all of them. Wow, 300k, but it's okay. I'll make that back within one task, so it's easy. I'll probably burn through all four of these Guthans play bodies again, but yeah, pretty worthwhile, you know, with those four bodies, I managed to get all the way A3 Slayer from uh, whatever level I started with, I think maybe 70-ish, but yeah, not bad at all, pretty good investment. Okay, so I'm running short on death runes, and I got myself a big ass dust devil task, and uh, luckily for me, the rune shops at Yanel Magic Guild is pretty damn stocked. So I can just like, you know, buy uh, as many deaths as I need and anything else really. So luckily this place I think is Iron Man stocked. So that means I don't have to compete with a uh, normal stock can. Because of the high barrier to entry, I don't have really any competition. I can re reliably buy as many death rooms as I need uh, very swiftly. So to put this into a more realistic perspective, I get one gargoyle task done, I get 400k GP. That's enough coins. To buy myself 2k death runes just for one task so yeah this is super easy to sustain amazing so it's been a few days actually no it's been like a week plus since os buddy uh 3.0 came out and i didn't really want to use it too much because it was pretty glitchy on the first day but um i've been told that they've fixed a lot of bugs so uh, i'm gonna give this a shot you know let me know what you guys think uh, about playing with this graphic setting because right now it looks really nice I'm probably just going to continue uh, just playing uh, RuneScape with this setting. You know, at least doing Slayer. Not going to risk doing like dangerous stuff right now. Until like, I know for sure that, you know, there are no like crazy bugs. But yeah, just going to try this out for a bit. Because I, I really like the graphics though. Mm. The anti-analyzing is making it look really nice. Even though it's the same exact graphics. So. Okay, the first uh, glitch that I've seen is just a graphic glitch. 
It's my fire cape. Oh, what? Why is it white? Oh my god, that's so weird. And it's transparent. What if I put it on? Oh, that's nice. Okay, yeah, it's just a minor graphical glitch. No big deal. <laughs> Dang, I was too distracted by, you know, the graphics, man, that I didn't even notice the 89 hit points coming in, dude. Just hit 89, and that means one more level, and I'll have my uh, second level 90 skill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure hit points will be my second ever level 90 skill, so that's pretty nice, dude. 90 plus HP is really crucial. Hey, just got 73 attack. That means two more levels to go, and then uh, I can go ahead and make and use an arc light. Probably gonna be uh, using it at Skotizel as a, you know, just a little bit of fun. And do some clue scrolls or something, but we have two more to go for that. Check out this cool magic level that I'm getting. 85 magic, dude. That is pretty good milestone right there. And also, my comment stats is starting to look really nice, you know. Got the magic range, strength 85 plus already. Looking good. So I decided to use my cannon at the Hellhound task to tablet. It worked out pretty damn good. Really sped up the task. Now, I used like about a thousand cannonballs for that task. I have enough cannonballs for two more of these type of tasks but yeah it's really fun using the cannon though so I got myself a Necroyal task and instead of doing the normal ones I'm gonna try to burst the greater Necroyal so this is a pretty good task when it comes to uh, bursting so I'm gonna give it a try now I've honestly never done bursting uh, these guys before and I'm interested in the loot though because yes these things do drop a pretty damn good amount of uh, alcohols and whatnot so finally I managed to slay this Nagarak oh what they only give 3k I thought these superior ones would you know give uh, more considering the mutated blood veil one definitely gave way more than that and they're a lot lower level so I've been bursting these guys for about 30 minutes now and honestly I didn't burst them too well because I think OS buddy 3.0 has like some click problems where I just can't click on the correct square, but I am getting a 40k star experience an hour and around 130k magic experience, so but I am very certain that the XP rates and stuff but bursting here is a lot better than this because you know I had some uh, clicking issues. So, next task, I'll give you guys like a better look at the rates, you know, with my kind of setup and you know, just ice bursting. So I finally finished the Necroyal task here and it was around 120 kills and I will show you guys the uh, loot right now. So this is a bit off because I didn't manage to actually collect everything. I probably left like 40k of rune stuff on the ground because I really didn't want to bank. But yeah, just off of the Alcables, 350k. I think the overall loot for 120 of those kills was like probably 500k if I could pick up every single thing. But anyways, it definitely covered for my death runes. I only used about a thousand there for 120 kills. So like if I had a big one, you know, it will still cover that as well. So really good task, really good XP. And I'll definitely burst these again. So I have been spending super frivolously. I bought the cannon. I invested more into kingdom. I bought runes and I went from like 5 mil all the way down to 1 mil. But look at all the stuff that I got within a few tasks. I already got two mils worth of alcohols, dude. Slayer is so nice at high levels, man. Easy GP. So I have been using the OS Buddy 3.0 beta for quite a bit of hours now. And uh, in terms of functionality, it is pretty damn impressive. I don't notice any lag. And in terms of all the like, you know, mechanical stuff, like how the gameplay goes, it's pretty much the same. I don't feel any uh, real difference except clicking there are some clicking issues and the obvious graphical issues they still have a lot of graphical issues to uh, take care of but the main problem right now is the clicking issue so if you are using os buddy 3.0 beta right now and you're trying to like go bossing or like pk or something anything with like precise clicking i would suggest you turn off the uh, graphic setting because yeah there are definitely some noticeable click issues right now wow that one xp to go <laughs> 87 range guys very nice here we go guys, last kill for 84 Slayer. I am so close, and just in time, holy shit, that was the last kill of the test. Damn, that's so clutch. Oh, man, one more level to go guys. And then I can finally camp for that episode whip easy peasy. But yeah, 307k, I'm probably gonna grind this like crazy, you know, for the last three levels all the way to the trident. But at the same time, I'm close to my attack goal 
only got 82k to go to 75 then i get the uh, art light and i didn't even realize i'm already 102 combat the last time i recorded combat levels i was 100 so somehow i've gained two combat levels already which is crazy so i'll be wrapping up with today's episode now guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode so i'm gonna be working very hard to getting the 87 slayer goal and the next episode is definitely gonna be pretty damn awesome so hope you guys look forward to episode 32 of the hardcore army series but anyways i hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days take care and bye bye